Good morning. My name is Nanisha Goldberg. I manage a team at MIT's Langer Lab in Koch Cancer Institute. Today, I want to talk to you about this innovative platform, nanotechnology-based idea for delivering anti-cancer drugs, mostly topically, and it's intended to increase the efficacy of chemotherapy drugs while significantly reducing its toxicity. This is a platform technology. As you can see from this cartoon that I'm showing, we take the drug. Currently, we are working on chemotherapy drugs, such as cisplatin, but we can also encapsulate other types of drugs. Uh, we encapsulate it in a certain polymer. We modify the surface chemistry in order to target certain cell population, in this case, oral cancer, but we can again go after other types of uh, diseases. And we encapsulate that in some sort of a nano matrix um, where it acts as a carrier. We have some um, samples when you see our posters uh, on wafers that we've developed and sponges that we've developed that are all carriers of these uh, nanoparticles that we developed. This is an example of the wafer we've developed. It's the size of a dime and it's paper thin and it's like a communion wafer. You put it on top of the tumor and it's supposed to release the chemotherapy drug locally without getting it into the systemic circulation, without causing the toxicity and basically shrinking the tumor and to the point that it's destroyed. So we are going, our initial market, we are going after uh, oral cancer because it's the low-hanging fruit. It's extremely underserved. Uh, it's considered an orphan disease where it qualifies us from an FDA point of view for a lot of benefits. Uh, there are 40,000 patients in the U.S. every year with, diagnosed with oral cancers, much larger around the world. In Asia, India specifically, it's the number one cancer. Um, it kills in the U.S. one person every hour of every day. And um, unfortunately, 50% of all patients that are diagnosed with oral cancer die within the first five years. So you can see there is a great need to address this problem. Why did we pick cisplatin, for example, as the initial chemo drug? Cisplatin, first of all, it's off patent. From anybody working in the life sciences, it's important to deal with a drug that's off patent. We don't have to deal with licensing issues. It's very well known, very well studied. The toxicities are known. FDA has approved it. So we are reducing the variables in trying to get into market. It can cause severe toxicity, but it's a very potent chemotherapy drug. So that's why we are going after this. It's so potent, especially for oral cancer and ovarian cancer and cervical cancer, but the toxicity is dose limiting. So it makes a perfect candidate for what we are trying to do. It's also low cost, which, um, is another benefit that we are very interested in to make it available to people all around the globe and not just in wealthy countries. So um, the toxicities I mentioned on cisplatin, um, I'm sure a lot of you, all of you, have loved ones or friends that have gone through chemo and you've seen the hair loss, you've seen the pale color, exhaustion, weight loss. Those are the superficial effects what it does is a lot more serious. 30% of patients suffer from kidney um, damages, nephrotoxicity, from neurotoxicity, from hearing toxicity, and then the rest, bone marrow, and so on. Uh, so our, the advantage of our treatment is that uh, we are taking this drug that's currently being administered via IV. The patient has to go to a clinic, get hooked up to an IV, and get the drug. We are making it topical. They don't even have to go to the clinic if they don't want to. Um, it's a local treatment. It doesn't get into the blood circulation. Um, it also avoids the chemo resistance, which is a very important 
uh, problem. I just recently lost an aunt to the fact that she um, resisted chemotherapy and there was no other treatment for her. Um, this can be um, used also for precancer cases. Right now, people that have precancer do not get any treatment because of the severe side effect of chemotherapy. And what some of the doctors, oncologists call this is a time bomb. They are sitting on a time bomb. With our reduced toxicity, these patients can get this kind of a wafer um, that doesn't cause toxicity. It also improves the patient compliance. So this is how it works. It topically sits on it, and this is the cartoon that shows how the nanoparticles uh, end up in the right places in the tissue and basically destroy the uh, cancer cells. Um, we've done a lot of studies so far, thanks to the Deshpande grant that we've received. Uh, we've done cell culture in vitro studies as well as two different animal studies so far. The results have been better than what we have expected. Um, in cell cultures, here we are showing the destruction of the cancer cells, oral cancer cells, and you can see with our blue, which is the nanoparticles, at certain concentration, we completely, almost completely destroy the cells, while the regular cisplatin does not do that at the same amount. So this is showing the live cancer cells, and as you can see, ours is very little amount is still living. These are our animal tests. This is the toxicity results. The blue shows how much of our drug, our cisplatin, ended up in the blood. Again, you can see very little ended up in the blood versus with free cisplatin with the drug itself. Um, these are, again, done in the animals. Most of the animals in the studies, the mice studies that we've done, that we grew the cancer in them and um, applied this uh, nanoparticle versus cisplatin, um, our mice did not lose weight. If anything, they gained weight versus the ones that um, ended up losing weight and ultimately they died before the experiment was due. Um, this is an example of the um, mice that we xenografted oral cancer in their back and after four treatments uh, of our nanoparticle, it shrank to almost nothing. So the takeaway is that this is the nanotechnology from the lab that's really the creator of, father of nanotechnology is Professor Langer. He's the PI on the project, and we at least um, are able to uh, make this product five times more effective based on our animal results, and the toxicity is at least 10 times less toxic. Um, with that, I'd like to invite you to visit us at the poster session.